Do you want to turn out a yet another White House shakeup? This one perplexing. Even those in the president's own inner circle, President Trump caught many off guard this weekend when he announced his chief of staff, John Kelly, will be out by the end of the year. But that wasn't all. The man who seemed all but guaranteed to take the job, well, he's now not getting it. Our chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, has the latest on really what have been head spinning developments. John, good morning. Good morning, Cecilia. With the departure of John Kelly, President Trump is now trying to find his third chief of staff in less than two years, an unprecedented level of turnover in the West Wing. This morning, only one thing is clear. John Kelly is on his way out as chief of staff. His replacement, though, entirely unclear. John Kelly will be leaving, but I don't know if I can say retiring, but he's a great guy. Uh, John Kelly will be leaving uh, at the end of the year. While President Trump frequently touted Kelly's service. Well, here's a Marine I like a lot. That we all know, we all love, he's doing a fantastic job. Four-star General John Kelly. Stand up. Their relationship had deteriorated to the point of hostility. Over the past few weeks, the two have barely been on speaking terms. And the president didn't hide the fact he didn't always see eye to eye with his chief of staff. Look, we get along well. There are certain things I love what he does, and there are certain things that I don't like uh, that he does. The president's top advisors expected Mike Pence's chief of staff, Nick Ayers, to replace Kelly. But over the weekend, Ayers took himself out of the running. Now the search is once again on. We'll be announcing who will be taking John's place. It might be on an interim basis. I'll be announcing that over the next day or two. What House officials say the president is looking at several possible uh, staffers for chief of staff, including Congressman Mark Meadows, a former deputy campaign manager David Bossy, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, acting attorney general Matt Whitaker, and the OMB director Mick Mulvaney. Uh, we'll see when that decision comes down. Uh, the departure of Kelly George becomes official at the end of the year. He's still here till the end of the year. And we don't know which, if any of those people want the job. Okay, John Carl, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.